Spookiness lures near as Halloween approaches. However, at UT, hauntings are year round. The heart of the paranormal activity takes place right here in Plant Hall, UT's oldest building. Since 1888, Plant Hall, formerly the Tampa Bay Hotel, has transformed numerous times while housing thousands of people. The building went from being a hotel with wealthy guests to a temporary base of operations during the Spanish-American War. Some of the guests who resided in the hotel never left. The museum can definitely be creepy at night, especially if you're there by yourself. Uh, I will tell you that a couple years ago, I was in the museum. Um, it was dark outside and one of the clocks started chiming. This is a clock that doesn't work. It's not wound. It shouldn't be chiming at any time, let alone whatever ridiculous time it was, 927 or something like that. Um, so I <laughs> hurriedly locked up and left the museum and tried not to think about it. Students and faculty have reported to have seen ghosts while in Plant Hall. The paranormal activity is said to happen at night or early in the morning, usually in the science wing. When I was here at UT, I would not walk through Plant Hall at night because I was just terrified and I didn't know what was here and I didn't want to be dramatic. So I would walk around Plant Hall instead of going through Plant Hall at night. However, some people are still skeptical. Plant Hall might be haunted, but I'm kind of skeptical because I've never heard or seen anything in there, so. People that don't believe in ghosts, how can you not believe in ghosts? There's like so much that goes on that like there's no reasoning behind it. So like how can you explain stuff like just randomly happening? Haunted or not, with skeptics and believers both giving their sides, you have to decide whether UT is haunted. Gabriella Wallace, Minaret News.